Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I am in a hotel again. I feel like I'm always in a hotel when I make these videos, but I am finally on my way home. It has been two months since I've been home. I'm honestly a little worried about the state of my apartment. I'm hoping that I didn't leave anything in the trash. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm terrified, to be honest, I'm terrified. I wanted to do a very, very, very quick update video for you guys because it is Friday. Uh, as you saw, I did uh, a surprise video upload for a random keto crate that I accidentally purchased. That's the, the absolute truth. I signed up for it and I thought I canceled the subscription and then the box came a couple of days later. So yes, I was charged for that. And I was like, I don't think I'm gonna keep doing keto. So I don't know why I thought that I wanted this box in the first place. But I decided to just make a fun video with my friend, uh, sort of a way of saying goodbye to him because I've been staying with him basically for the last two months uh, as I've been traveling to other places. So I also went on a trip to Malibu recently. In the cloud. And it was an awesome time. We hiked every day. Uh, but it was cut short because my sister had her first baby. So I ended up traveling a lot after that. Lots of last minute decisions were made uh, to help my sister out. So I'm finally on my way back home to the East Coast. So I have been thinking a lot about what my next steps are. And I don't know about you guys, but I find that I it's really, really difficult to stick to a plan, a diet when you're away from home. There's just so many factors that are involved in travel and seeing family and friends. And it's just, I find it very difficult to stick to something restrictive or just to stick to anything really. I kind of just went with the flow for the last like two months. And I shouldn't say I went with the flow. There were weeks where I stuck to keto as if you've been following my journey at all, um, you know that I've, I tried to do a little bit of a balance with that. And I'm happy to say that um, for those of you who might be new, I started a 12-week keto reset back in March. Uh, I'll try to remember to link the video up there, the result video. I ended up losing, I think, 11 pounds, like 10 to 11 pounds. And of course, it's not like a dramatic weight loss, but it is a uh, an accomplishment for me because I have been struggling to lose the weight that I gained during the pandemic. The pandemic really, really affected me. Um, my anxiety, my depression, I started a new job and I just, I found myself just gradually gaining a lot more weight than when I even started this channel. So if you want to follow that journey, um, you know, the videos are still up. Moving forward, I don't think that I want keto to be my life. I, I think I've struggled with this on the channel because there have been times when I thought, yeah, I could totally do keto for the rest of my life. It's easy. I can definitely do that. It works. I feel better. I don't know if I actually want to live the rest of my life without fruit and potatoes and basically the whole foods that I think are healthy foods that keto restricts. And that's fine. Everybody, I think, should be on their own journeys when it comes to the particular like lifestyle that you're choosing for yourself. One of the biggest things that I learned, though, when I did this 12-week um, reset was that I really like planning challenges for myself and really investing in myself with those challenges. So for that 12-week keto journey or reset journey, I created a quote book so that every single day I ripped off a, the day that it was if I accomplished that day and there was this inspirational quote that I had made back in March before I started the 12 week keto reset. And that I found to be incredibly motivating because it was, I was the one that was motivating myself. So I want to do something that requires some planning on my part. And um, that means another maybe like reset or a challenge or something like that. Those are the things that really kind of get me excited. So what I've decided to call this next phase, and it's gonna start on Sunday, 
is a 21 day mind, body and soul reset. Basically, and I'll go over this again on Sunday, I think, just to kind of give you guys like, what is this all about? I have been thinking about things that I enjoy doing when it comes to my own personal well-being and health. Like, what are the choices that I can make that make me feel like a stronger version of myself? It turns out I really love intermittent fasting. I do, I was doing that for a while before I did keto and there's something about the challenge of only eating during a particular window of time that really speaks to me. And I was, believe me, I was worried about trying intermittent fasting just because of a history of eating disorders. But for me, I really liked the challenge of not eating until like lunchtime or not eating, sometimes it would be not eating until like 3 p.m. And for work, it really worked out because I never really want to eat when I'm at work. Not for like shame reasons, it's just the job requires that I have an empty stomach, let me put it that way. So I was thinking I'll definitely do intermittent fasting and then I was like, okay, it'll just be 21 days of intermittent fasting, is that what you want to do? And then I, I wanted to make it bigger than just food. I wanted it to be this holistic approach to health and fitness because that is the way forward. It's, it's, it has to be for me a holistic approach to losing weight. It's not just a number on a scale. It's not just um, trying to hit a particular like uh, weight loss goal. Of course, that's a part of it. But I want to kind of dig deep and figure out the reasons for why I have been struggling with food addiction for so long. And the way to do that I've decided for myself, is to incorporate um, a sort of wellness plan into the 21 day reset that will hopefully uh, allow me to continue with the particular plan that I've set out. But I'm calling it a reset because I want this first phase, the first three weeks to be a bit of a challenge. Um, and then that fourth week, I'm actually going on a writing retreat. So that's gonna be like a little reward for me for like doing really well. Um, for the first three weeks. When it comes to my mind, I'm going to be reading 10 pages of a sort of self-help book that I'll show you guys on Sunday. Uh, it's called The Power of Integrity. It looks really good and it might help with some like healing um, and, and help me to kind of like dig a little bit deeper. For my soul, I'm going to meditate for five minutes a day. I used to meditate all the time. I was one of those people that used to meditate twice a week for like an hour and a half each session. And I've completely, ever since the pandemic, I've completely lost that ability. So I just want to just do five minutes. That could be prayer, it could be sitting in silence. I'm just gonna do meditation for five minutes a day. I might even follow a meditation guide on the Peloton app, those are amazing. But I'm going to treat that as a form of self-care. When it comes to my body, I'm going to do a version of intermittent fasting. I'm going to follow as best as I can the 16-8 fasting window so that you know you eat uh, eight hours a day and you fast for 16. But then I'm gonna take it up a notch for the challenge. And this is the thing that may not follow me after the 21 days. I, th I have a feeling I can do the intermittent fasting for that could be my lifestyle, honestly. I'm gonna follow what is known as the 5-2, it's called the 5-2 fasting, but it's not fasting. So I'm gonna call it the 5-2 method. Basically, all this is, this is like something that was popularized like 10 years ago and no one's doing it today. So I'm not quite sure if I'm just like, am I picking something that just like clearly is doesn't work? I love the idea of it though. So as you guys know, in order to lose a pound of fat, uh, you have to burn 3,500 calories, right? You have to be in the deficit of 3,500 calories. So it's like simple math, right? Like it's simple math. You can, everyone can do this. It requires tracking though. And again, that may not follow me for the rest of the time, but for the first three weeks, I am gonna be very, very uh, religious with my tracking. So for five days out of the week, you just eat normally. By normally, they mean like, don't you don't really have to track your calories. But for me, I'm gonna say it's, it'll be like 2000 to 2300 calories a day, I will be tracking, and I will be trying to eat healthy foods. So I, I'm gonna do my very best to stay away from too much snacking. And my goal on those five days out of the week is to be in either a deficit or to level out with the calories that I have burned that day. My Apple Watch um, has been 
incredibly good at tracking the calories, like the total calories burned. Um, the, the very beginning of this channel, I did an experiment for 30 days just to not do a diet, just to like, just track what I was eating, get my weight. I think it was 177. And just to see like, does this watch actually accurately reflect for the most part, like the calories burned versus uh, the calories consumed. And I, I'm, I, it basically worked well enough for me to say, yes, this works for me. So according to the Apple Watch, on average, if I hit my move goal, I, I burn total about 2,400 calories. So sticking to something where it's, I could eat 2,000 calories to 2,200 calories just to like get that plain deficit. That sounds easy, right? That's how you're, you're all like, oh, that's not a diet, what's that? What are you doing? You're not gonna lose weight. Then two days out of the week, this is where the five, two, part of it comes in, you reduce that caloric intake by 75%. So you're only eating 25% of your typical calorie range. Now that's like 500 calories if you're doing 2000 calories a day and that just sounds crazy. So I'm going to do 600 calories. So for two days out of the week, I'm going to be super, super strict and I'm going to try to hit only 600 calories a day. What this does, what it's supposed to do is be psychologically helpful because on the days that you're only eating 600 calories, which for me, I think are going to be Monday and Thursday, you know, the next day is going to be a pretty normal day. So it's enough to kind of power you through it versus what has never worked for me. And I don't know why it's never worked for me, but it doesn't work for a lot of people reducing your calories, you know, like every single day to 1500, like never works for me. It, it always feels really difficult to do that in the long term because it's, it's actually very easy to hit 2000 calories. It, it truly is for me at least. Um, and, and so what I'm planning to do is on those days that are those like intense, you know, 600 calorie days that I'll have moderate exercise that day. I still want to try to hit my move goal every day. And that I think will actually, I'm going to experiment with this, put me into a state of ketosis without doing keto because I'll be in a, a, a metabolically like fasted state, I think is the, the goal of that. So for, in terms of exercise, my plan using my Apple watch again is to simply, uh, hit my move goal. So I have my move goal set for 650 calories a day. And whenever I hit that, that's when I get like the average cal calories burned um, at like 2,400, 2,500. Some days I might do more, some days I might, you know, do less, but every day I plan to hit the move goal. And finally, what I'm going to do is hold myself accountable with this YouTube channel, which I've been doing. Of course, I upload videos like on and off, like on a regular basis. I want to upload a video every day. So I want to take you through the journey of kind of like hitting all of these goals. To me, this was a ver my own version of like a 75 hard, where it's like you have a couple of like goals that you want to hit every day and then you like check them off. So I I'm creating like a spreadsheet for that, make it look pretty. I'm putting that on my remarkable and uh, I'm gonna film myself doing these things. So the video is not gonna come out until Monday because I think my plan is to film myself during the day and then upload the video. Like I'll edit it at night and then schedule the upload for like 6 a.m. the next day so that the day that you're watching is like the previous day. If that makes, I think that makes sense. I think that's what most people do. They just don't say that. Um, Cause you can't film a video, edit it, and then like say, hey, it's 9 a.m. and today is the day. So that's, you're gonna get your first video on Monday but the journey starts Sunday. That's day one. But I hope that you'll join me on the journey and whatever journey you're on, whatever is specifically working for you, please share in the comments below. Uh, I, we can do this together. I think that's that's the support that we all need. We need encouragement from each other. So I look forward to hearing about that. All right, see you guys on Monday.